I'm talking to the former Prime Minister of Spain, José María Aznar. Mr. Prime Minister, as a world leader, how do you see America's role in the world? Well, I, I believe in the leadership of the uh, U.S. I consider that the leadership of the U.S. in the world currently is uh, indispensable. And the U.S. basically is an expression of uh, democracy, of freedom, of expansion of these ideas. I like this, but the presence of America is, must be decisive, not irrelevant. If the, um, if the influence of America de- declining, US declining, the world will be more dangerous in the next future inevitably. Traditional Western values, including Judeo-Christian values, have long been under attack in Europe. Is this how you see it? I am very comfortable defending these values. Our problem is not defend these values. Our problem is to apologize um, to, for defend democracy or freedom or, or, or prosperity or for, for, for the opportunities for the people. This is, this, this, this is the expression of, uh, of uh, a, a better world. No? I, I consider this extremely important. No? A world without values is a world that running in direction to intolerance and confrontation, inevitably. Government plays a very big role in the lives of Europeans and increasingly here in the U.S. Does this concern you? Big government is is a problem. The world for a state that we are created in Europe after the Second World War, in, in this moment, is unsustainable and untenable. Big administrations huge governments, a lot of interventionism is finally very bad for societies. So then, why do you Europeans love big government? If you create a, a, a system, and the system is uh, the welfare system, you can be living in this system with um, very comfortable. If you work in uh, with limited hours, Along the week, you have uh, long holidays, you have a good uh, health system, a free uh, education system. Well, uh, the, the comfortability of, for, for, for a lot of people is, uh, is very, very serious now. But the problem is, there's nothing is free. Nothing is for free. So are you saying that Europeans have chosen comfort over conviction? We have forgotten the, forgot this, the convictions now, because uh, this success, the, the price of the European success is to forget convictions and to live in the indifference relating to the values. And a country or a continent that don't believe in anything can fall believing in uh, anything. <laughs> and uh, it is problematic. The European left, which is, after all, most of Europe, doesn't have much respect for conservative America. Why is this? This is an expression of uh, European arrogance, no? Uh, European intellectual arrogance, no? They think that one part of uh, America is not very intelligent because it's not enough European. <laughs> Unlike many of your fellow Europeans, you're a great defender of Israel. Why? This is a time to express naturally that uh, Israel is a democracy, is a part of the Western world, is a democracy as US, as Spain or France or UK or Germany, is a democracy under threat, It's a democracy that is in the front line of uh, Western values. We share the same values. We share the same uh, ideas, basically. And we must have the responsibility and obligation to defend Israel if Israel is under threat or Israel is under attack. 
You have formed an organization to support Israel, the Friends of Israel Initiative. Tell us about it. I'm in a Jews. I have not any connection with, uh, special connection with the Jews people. But the, and the most important thing, um, question for this initiative, Friends of Israel Initiative, is precisely that there is a not Jews organization that defend strategically the idea that the state of Israel is a part, essential part of the Western world. Israel is a normal country, even more. Now it's a land of opportunities, of prosperity, an expression of prosperity, and high technology, and research, and a lot of opportunities for, for, for the people. But it's a democracy. Thank you, Mr. Prime Minister. Thank you.